Welcome back guys, hope you're having a beautiful day today. I just filmed a members Minecraft video that was a very, very full on. So I thought to myself, you know what, I'm already frustrated because, you know, I was trying to survive and I'm not very good at the game. Let's, you know, make this a little bit more interesting and read some choosing beggars. Because yeah, we all know how downright infuriating they are. I feel like we're in for a fun video video guys. I'm looking for a free horse that nobody can take care of anymore or just get out of horses. They'll have a great home I can tell you that but I don't want them to have any health issues or lameness at all and I still want to be able to ride like the horse nothing super old please. If you know anything or anybody please message me. Thanks. Horses are like the most expensive things to look after ever. You know, if you're gonna get a horse for free, it's not gonna be free. <laughs> you know, aren't they very expensive? Next, they're gonna be like, oh, wait a second, I actually need to look after it. Oh, <laughs> oh, forget it. Hi, everyone. I'm looking for a natural sperm donor meeting these requirements. Ages 16 to 23. Never used any prescription or illicit drugs. Never drank except for for communion. Blonde or light brown hair, not overweight and comes from a 75% plus American background. Agrees to forfeit all parental rights at the time of birth. No payment will be collected during any natural breeding sessions. However, regular child support payments in the amount of 20% of your income will be expected within the first month of birth. You'll remain completely anonymous throughout the child's 18 years of life and you would be expected to maintain that same level of anonymity with anyone around you. Please reach out to me through Messenger for more information. Thank you. Right, so they want a sperm donor but then once they have a child from that donor, they want them to pay child support. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, like this comment. She wants him to terminate parental rights and pay Pay child support? <laughs> what? What do you mean? A birthday fundraiser for Humane Society of something. And they had a goal of $1,000 and they've raised 332 which is pretty good. So 14 people donated. Um, It's kind of disappointing and kind of not when you see that you post a fundraiser for your birthday and five of the 10 donors you've never met in person, but they seem to follow and care more than the people that I actually know? Is it really that hard to give $2 or $5 or $10 to an amazing organization? My heart breaks because I thought and expected more. Yeah, well, that's your fault. <laughs> and also $300 out of $1,000 is really good. You know, like how about be grateful for that? It's a birthday fundraiser. Like people are not obligated to donate to this. Come on, you need to not focus on what you don't have. You need to focus on what you do have. In order to live a beautiful, happy, and peaceful life, you need to be grateful and lose expectations. I'm in Delhi for a few days. I'd like to meet a funny guy who loves photography so I can take him to a nice date to the Taj Mahal where I get an amazing photo shoot done as well. <laughs> I hope it makes sense, only if it does swipe right. My basics, woman, my interests, makeup, photography, and dancing. So do you want a boyfriend or a photographer? Cause you know, you can just hire somebody to take photos of you, but obviously you don't want to do that. Is it really about not paying for photography? Like they're going to go to the effort to find somebody and date them, or at least go on a date with them just so they can get some nicer photos for free? Surely not. But also their interests do say photography so maybe they have a camera and maybe they take photos So maybe they're looking for somebody to take photos of yeah I don't know maybe this one isn't a choosing beggar depending on how you think about it trying to be a little bit Optimistic so there I was at my local strip mall carry out pizza hut waiting up front with another customer for my order A disheveled older man walks in wearing a t-shirt and pajamas 
pajama pants and carrying a Pizza Hut pizza box. He walks up to the counter and the exchange with the employee goes something like this. I called earlier. You said I could have this pizza for free. Uh, yes, sir. We delivered it to your house by accident. You can keep that pizza. It's free. Choosing Beggar opens the box showing the pizza toppings to the Pizza Hut employee. This pizza has pepperoni on it. I don't eat pepperoni. Um, I'm sorry. Can you make me another one? Uh, what? <laughs> well, since the pizza is free, but I can't eat it, can you make me another one? I was listening to the entire exchange and I perked up here and shared WTF looks with the employee and the other waiting customer. And then I laughed uproariously at the choosing beggar's brazen and shameless request. The choosing beggar turned around and looked at me and then lowered his eyes sheepishly. Pizza Hut employee, if you'd like to pay for one, yeah, sure. Choosing beggar, oh no, and leaves the pizza on the counter and walks back out of the door. I shared a brief moment of, did that really just happen with the other customer and the employee for about 30 seconds until my pizza was ready? I guess this guy thought that he was entitled to a free pizza of his choosing to compensate him for the inconvenience of a missed delivery being sent to his house. Not that he was being allowed to keep that particular pizza since it couldn't be re-delivered to the correct customer once it was in his hands. Yeah, these are literally the sort of people that go somewhere and they feel like if they get angry enough or cause enough of a scene that they're just gonna get free food out of it. So like, yeah, good on the Pizza Hut employee for not going along with it and actually being like, yeah, you can get another pizza if you pay for it. Not just gonna give you a free pizza, buddy. Yeah, infuriating. I need a dog sitter in so-and-so ASAP, $300 a month. Great dog, last sitters are moving, so I need a new one ASAP. I work from 10 a.m. to 8.30 p.m., but sometimes shorter. Please message me. You'd start on October the 7th and half of the pay up front. Yeah, so how many days a week is this? And also, I wonder if it actually would be from 10 a.m. until 8.30 p.m. Maybe it wouldn't be the entire time. But yeah, if it is, that is like way too low, isn't it? 300 a month. So how many days would that be? Wait, so five days a week, maybe. So what, like 20 days? Yeah, so what, $15 a day? Nah, that's not good. <laughs> right, so somebody shared this on Facebook. Now that I have access to AI-generated art, I wonder what use I have for you. The uppity online artist charging $275. Yeah, we finally have a weapon against the are you gonna pay me crowd? Wait, so you get people to make art for you and you don't expect to pay for it? And you think they're wrong or uppity because they ask you to pay them for what they do? <laughs> and you think they're in the wrong? Oh, the audacity. Wait a second, you put time and effort and money into this and you expect to be compensated for it? No way. Yeah, like what universe are you living in? People want money for things? Oh, this is not fair. Well, freelance artists, they usually pay at a cheaper rate. Yes, that's true, haha. -ha. I do more specialized and high quality stuff for clients, so that's usually the major price reason. Well, will the cheaper rate be okay or no? Hi, yeah, unfortunately the rate is not high enough. I'm quite sorry for any inconvenience. There are a lot of artists under the Blender 3D tag who may be able to provide cheaper commissions. Oh, so no? Unfortunately, no, unless you're able to do higher price, sorry. Oh, why does this happen to me? Like I always be rejected by talented people who I needed help with, but they always just reject me and I even promised them that we'll pay them and we hired them and make enough money for the Kickstarter and we'll use the money to them, but then they had to act like idiots and rejected my project. Stupid idiots. Hey, yeah, I'm muting you because you're not being very professional. $20 is not reasonable compensation for what you're asking. So yeah, learn Blender yourself or pay up. Goodbye. Right, so this person uses Blender and the other person just wants to pay them $20 for something. Yeah, like what do they mean, what? 
why does this happen to me? It's actually pretty simple. Like, this wouldn't happen if you paid the price that they were asking. Every single time I go to the supermarket and I try and walk out with all my food, they just stop me and they say that I have to pay for it. Why does this keep happening to me? <laughs> my heart is broken. I need a musician to create 23 minute dance tracks, deep house style. They must be unique and all your own work. I do not want just a 10 second loop for two minutes. I will want one or two of these per week. $25 for 20 tracks? <laughs> what? Roughly one hour of music. Please do not apply if you cannot produce 20 tracks for $25. $25 is the total payment for 20 tracks, not $25 per track. Are you out of your mind? <laughs> what do you mean? This is so aggravating. 20 tracks for $25. They need to be three minutes each and they can't be repetitive. Roughly an hour of music. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck with that. Choosing beggar relatives. I'm a tire fitter. I have this aunt who usually comes to me to switch her tires from the winter ones to the normal ones and vice versa, for which I charge her nothing since she's my aunt. One day she calls me asking if she could come for that usual work to which I answer no since it was a very busy day. One hour later, guess who arrives at my workplace? Yeah. I tell her again that I was seriously too busy and she answers, no problem, I'm not in a hurry. <laughs> like that was the problem. After a while, I'm forced to send customers paying customers away because I can't keep up with all of the work and even so, she still stays without giving a single freak. So when her turn comes, I do my job and then I ask her to pay. Because, you know, working for free for a relative may be acceptable, but losing money is just too much. To which she had a shocked reaction, followed by literally throwing the money at me. The next day, I see a post on her Facebook saying, don't you think 50 is too much for a tire replacement? For the first time, she had to pay in years. Needless to say, I refuse to ever do anything anything for her from that day on? Wow. And what could they possibly say? You know, like, what sort of a case do they have? Like, oh, yeah, you should do it for me, even though you have been doing it for me for years for free. But yeah, when I come to your shop and I try and do it when you're busy and am super rude about it and still get you to do it for free, I'm somehow still in the right for this? Yeah, um, people are unbelievable and I think we need wholesome memes, guys. That's enough choosing beggars for today. I shall grant you three wishes. I wish my dog could talk. Done. Hey, buddy, you've got two wishes. <laughs> That's so cute. Like, oh, what would you like, Chico? I think about Chico being able to talk and I feel like he would be really wise and like probably talk like Gandalf or something. Do you guys imagine that your cats or pets would be really old and wise and walk around with a cane? Or is that just me? Me realizing that I can't go on an art gallery date with my girlfriend because what if they keep her? <laughs> Aww. You're such a work of art, babe. That's a really, really wholesome and I hope you two have a beautiful relationship forever. That's what those signs are that everybody's mum has says, isn't it? Live, love, laugh. <laughs> I wish you the best is what I'm trying to say. If you could have anything in the world, what would you ask for? You! Oh, that's so beautiful. And once again, that doodle guy did an amazing job. They're always so wholesome. Thank you for watching today's video, guys. I hope you had a wonderful time. And I hope I didn't aggravate you too much today. If you did have a wonderful time, make sure you let me know down below what you thought. And also, let me know all of your video ideas down below. I'm always looking for new ones. And the comment of the day Drum roll, please. Goes to Matt. It's 2 a.m. Let the cringe begin. The fact that somebody's watching my videos at 2 in the morning, first of all, thank you. But second of all, I don't know if that's even a good idea, is it? Like, you're probably not gonna get back to sleep. But yeah, thank you. I really appreciate the support. Anytime is a good time for a Vinci video. And yeah, with that being said, thank you for all your support, guys. It really means
means so much to me. We're gonna hit 100,000 subs like a really soon, which is just unbelievable. I'm so excited for the future. Have a wonderful rest of your day, guys, and I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.